All right, y'all, check it out. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to make the grids. You've seen me singing in the different boxes. So I'm going to show you how that's done. So it's really, really simple, but it's one of these things I had to get creative with because I've seen it being done on other, other channels, but I did not know how to do it myself. So here's how I did it. First thing you got to do is you, I'm using, I'm let, just so you understand, I'm using a Mac Mini. Um, I don't have anything special other than iMovie and Pages. These are the two programs that I use to accomplish this. So I know many people are like, what did you go out and buy? I have a Mac Mini and I'm going to use iMovie and Pages. I record everything on my cell phone. I dump it into my cell phone, uh, from my cell phone to my computer. And then I go to work from there. So this first step is making the grid because I want to be able to sing in that boxes, in those boxes individually. So the first thing I got to do is make a static grid, a, a, a flat grid. So here's how I do it. We're going to go over here. We're going to open up pages. Once we got pages wide open, then we go here. We're going to click blank landscape. All right. Once we got blank landscape, we click choose and we open it up. So now we have our basic uh, platform where we're going to build everything in pages. Uh, because what we're going to actually do is make a picture and we're going to stretch that picture out. Now, I know that doesn't make sense now, but once we get over to iMovie, that'll make perfect sense. So here's what we're going to do. You want to make certain that your grid fits your screen. So the way we're going to do that is this, is I would go and take a picture that I know fits the screen when I open it all the way up. I dump it on my, I drag and drop it into here. So this is the, the screenshot from what we're doing already, um, the, my thumbnail making the background. So what we're going to do, I've already blown this up and I'll show you again. I'll open it up here. And if I just open it, I know that it's going to fit my screen completely. All right, because I've already done the measurements. So I know that it works when I open it up. So I'm going to come out of that and get rid of that and go back to where we were. So since I know this is the exact screen size I need, now I can move forward. So what I do now is I take shapes, just shapes. All right. Now I want to make the shape the same size. I want to, I want to, I want to make this here the same size as this. So now I know that that's the exact same size. Now you got to watch me very, very carefully how I do this. So I'm going to take that and dump it to the back. I go over here to uh, arrange and I'm going to go make this automatic go to none because I don't want it to move around. And then I'm going to send it to the back. Now, once I send it to the back, you don't see it anymore. Now watch this. I'm going to make this none again so that it doesn't move around. And then I'm going to shrink this. All right. This represents my screen sizes. So what I'm going to do, how many screen sizes do I want? Well, I know I want at least um, nine of them. So what I'm going to do is I shrink it down, right? And I'm going to copy and paste it and I'll put it side by side. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Copy, paste. Now I'm using command V, uh, command C to copy, command V to paste. And I'm going to put it side by side. So now my goal is to make certain that they're all the exact same size. So you'll notice I'm sliding them out. And you'll see what I just did. I'm moving them um, around until I start getting the size that I want. Because I want one size that's going to fit perfectly everywhere, perfectly around here. So I'm going to do this like this. And just in case, I'm going to copy paste and put this here. I want it to fit right next to it. I'm going to paste another one. And I'm going to see if I get a third one. So I'm a little bit off. So I'm going to keep on, just or enlarge it just a little bit until I get my size. And once I get the size that I want, and this is going to be off just a little bit here, you play with this just a little bit and you get the size that you want. And I'm going to delete a couple of these. And I'm going back to the one that I had. I'm going to move it just, I'm going to copy paste it. Uh, let's see, is it centered? Because once we get the right size, then it gets simple. Once we get it to fit and see, there it is. It's fitting now. It's going to fit now. Now, now that I know I got the right size, then I just go ahead and paste these screens, right? Now, this is going to seem weird, but just follow me. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste. Paste another one. Move it into place. So it should be about right. I should be close to being right. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop there because what I'm going to actually do is I really want this. I want this to match that another one of these. Now, let me change the color so that you can see what I just did. I want this to match and cover this perfectly. So now it covers that. Now, once that covers, I'm going to move this into place. 
And it looks like it's not quite perfect, but we're going to see here. We're going to play with it. Uh, it's going to give me a little bit of a problem, of course, because I'm trying to show you how I did it. But we're going to go, we're going to copy, we're going to paste. And as a matter of fact, we're going to do one more thing with it. We're going to make a line, a border on it. So that if we, once, once you have a border, then you can really see what you're working with. So we're going to make a border. Let's make that thin. We're going to come down to one uh, and make that thin. Let's go to two. It's a little too small. Um, and we're going to copy that and paste it next to it. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go here. We're going to make another border. And now we don't need these at all. Those you can get rid of. We don't need those. Now, I'm taking those out of the background because they take up they take up um, space um, on our picture and give it size and girth that you may not want to have. So we're going to do this like this. And so now we got our, our boxes and we can manipulate them. I can move them with my arrows until I get them like I want them to uh, so that those lines are like I want it. Then I'm just going to do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight all of these together. I'm going to copy and paste them and slide them down. And then I'm going to do the same thing again and slide them down. And it's a little bit off, but for the purposes of demonstrating how this is done, oops, I'm sorry, let me undo that. Undo, 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 go back to there where it's lined up. Let's take all three of these and let's move them up. And now my grid looks even. Now, all I got to do if I wanted to, whatever color I want to make that background grid, I can make that background grid. Before I did them all um, in the uh, black with the white trim, you can, I can change that if I like to and make it the color that I want. But this is how I make my background grid. So from here, it gets really simple because all we're going to do from here, just so you see how this is done, I'm going to take this background grid and I'm going to export it as a PDF. OK, now in the pages, you have to do this because this is not like Photoshop or something like that. Now, somebody said, well, why didn't you just go and like grab one from online? Well, I tried to do that like a Google search for one and I did not like any of them. And it was going to be way too much work changing the color to the color that I want. So I chose to do it this way. So I didn't have to do that. So we're going to make this a PDF. Keep it as best. And I'm going to just name it yellow. I'm going to call it y y uh, YG. YG. I'm going to export it. Right. Then I'm going to go get it. Here it is there. It's a PDF. It looks good. Then I can take this and I'm going to export that to a JPEG. Okay. Then I'll always increase the quality. And I got it set for 640 pixels because there are other things that need to be minimally that. So I always set it for that. Um, boom. I got rid of that. I saved it. And so here it is here as a JPEG. Then I do this. I take my cursor, put it on that corner, drag this out like you see, and boom, now I've gotten to the edges of this. And then I use Command-K and I crop it, and there's my grid. Now that's what I'm gonna be singing in. I'm gonna be singing, there's gonna be me all over the screen in that grid, and that's how you make the grid. Now, in another video, I'm gonna show you how you load the, you put this video, you put that into your iMovie, and then you load your pictures up and you load your videos on, on top of that, and I'll explain that in the next video. Listen, if you enjoyed that, if you got any other questions, if I went too fast, I hope I didn't, uh, go down in the comment section and let me know. Uh, but this is the step, these are how you take the steps to getting to those grids and how you do that. So I hope you enjoyed that, I hope it was informative, I hope you got it. But um, it's very, very simple. Um, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, make sure you subscribe, click the bell so that you can get notifications of when I upload more videos. But there's more to come because I gotta finish crying with many crowns. If you haven't seen those videos, check out some of the other videos that I got. A lot of music videos, a lot of how-to videos on how to do this, how to use simple iMovie to do this. And it's going to be really, really fun as we continue to move forward. All right. I'll see you guys later.